This is NDTV and you are watching NDTV Prime. Good afternoon. It's really a huge honor for us at NDTV to have all of you here this afternoon as we kick off uh, the Educom NDTV Education Awards. Now, you know, for a while we've been thinking of uh, uh, the need to honor these institutions and individuals who are working to open a whole new enlightened world to generation after generation of Indians, those who've given their best years to educating India. To all of you, your vision, your commitment and zeal that has helped a hungry for knowledge India get the best opportunities both in the country and abroad as well. Those who have inspired and ignited the minds of millions of students. We are very fortunate to have a founding partner in Educom who shared our vision and joined us as we set out to honor excellence. Thank you. And this evening uh, has come together on the back of support of our partners like Educomp and several others who also joined us along this journey. I'd like to call upon Shantanu Prakash, the Chairman and Managing Director of Educomp Solutions on stage. Uh, one of the first things when I met you and we talked about this was the fact that you said it's time to set up a credible wall to honor those because this country seems to be honoring people who do a whole host of other things. But teaching and teachers often just somehow get left behind. Yes, Natasha, and it's really interesting. Education is multifaceted, especially in the 21st century when we are stepping into the fourth industrial revolution. Mm -hmm. Therefore, it's very important to have this platform for showcasing all the different kinds of works that schools are doing. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, in, in, in this uh, series of awards, we are showcasing pedagogical achievement, teaching excellence, innovation, science, technology, and it's very important to get this message across because end of the day, we are a young nation. Mm -hmm. Thanks very much. Uh, Thank you, Natasha. Thank you. Thank you. Well. Well, just to give you a sense of how we went about this, we opened the awards uh, for nominations. We were delighted with the response. I can tell you, while it wasn't always e uh, easy for our IT department to deal with clogged mailboxes, curtsy the entries, each and every time we got an entry, there was also a huge feeling of accomplishment. Helping us reach out to the schools was our knowledge partner, C4. Their hard work saw a very smooth jury meet, even though we had almost 1,600 nominations from across the country. Thank you, Mr. Paliti and your team. A very special thank you also to PwC, who were our process auditors for the entire awards. Now, how we've gone about it is that we had the awards divided into three categories. They're for teachers, schools, and finally, for principals, like Mr. Prakash mentioned, we're looking at areas like pedagogy, sports, academics. Similarly, for principals, the categories are uh, uh, inclusive education, figuring among them, also another one for leadership. The nominations were then presented uh, to the jury, and uh, here's a quick look at who they are. Our eminent jury, Abha Adams, advisor, step-by-step -step school, and former director, Sriram Schools. Ashok Ganguly, Educationist and former Chairman CBSC. Lata Vaidyanathan, Director Terry Prakriti School and former Principal Modern School Barakamba Road. Pramat Sinha, Founder and Trustee Ashoka University and Founding Dean ISB. Rupa Manjuri Ghosh, Vice Chancellor Shivnadar University Former Dean, School of Physical Sciences, JNU. Natasha Jo, Senior Editor and Anchor, NDTV. Right, so today we'll be meeting the winners of 12 categories. 
and there will be similar winners will be awarded in different zones uh, like me i'm sure you want to get on with the afternoon hear from the winners and meet them so let's get started uh, our first category that we are looking at of course is the teachers category uh, we're looking at the teachers category we're looking at starting with excellence in uh, english language is what we are looking at <laughs> I'd like to call upon Tanuj Taneja of uh, Nova Beans, our education partner, to come and uh, announce the winners. Uh, and the winner is Arti Kurana Pathway Schools, Noida. celebrate uh, regional languages and IP doesn't say that you have to really really emphasize on English but uh, probably get your students around through their uh, medium which could be Hindi which could be Korean or any such language right our next award is for excellence in mathematics teaching <laughs> I'd like to call upon Denzing Bhutia of uh, the Indian School Finance Company to please come and announce uh, the winners. And the winner is uh, Geeta Kidwani, St. Kalemba School. Many congratulations, ma'am. Well, uh, the next award is for excellence in uh, science teaching. Winner was uh, Madhu Gupta of Bluebells Model School, Gurgaon, but we are told that uh, she's not here yet, stuck in traffic. We can, of course, have a round of applause for her nonetheless, and we'll make sure that the award meant for her reaches her soonest. Well, this is followed by excellence in social science. If I could uh, just call upon Mr. Prem Paleti of uh, C4 to help us uh, know the winners and meet the winner as well. And the winner is uh, Mrs. Lavleen Kapoor, Bal Bharti School, Pitampura. Many congratulations, uh, ma'am. Now, you know, we keep talking about India and its obsession with pure sciences, but do you think that this is finally a day and age where liberal arts are becoming mainstream. I am heartily grateful for people to acknowledge uh, acknowledging social sciences. Honestly speaking, I have lived a lifetime having sciences and mathematics pushed down our throat and we pushed down. <laughs> so finally, if people are waking up to liberal sciences and humanities and social sciences, you'll make the world a better place. Absolutely. Not a moment too soon. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, I'd like to call upon Rita Call, who's the uh, direct principal of Millennium School. Please come on stage to help us uh, meet the next winner. Uh, this is our first school category. We are looking at excellence in academics here. It is a tie. Heritage School Gurgaon and DPS RK Pura. Before you go, I do want to ask you, just, if you can just stay for a moment, I do want to ask all of you, you know, academics of course being very, very important in this, in this day and age, there's no taking away from that fact. But to all those who would say that we are creating a generation that's now chasing 100% or nothing, you need to max every subject to make it to top institutions, what can educationists like yourself say to them and how do we break out of this system? So we should not actually chase for 100% marks, but at the same time, make uh, excellence your goal. So that um, children do very well in the examinations as well as enjoy the subject. Absolutely. That's, that's Enjoying that subject, of course, being key to discovering, you know, how so much yes. you can get out of a subject if you really and truly enjoy it. Yes. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Thank you very much.